Hello, everyone. My name is Leisha Jackson from FM Systems, and I want to thank you for attending today's webinar, Complete Workplace Surveys Anytime, Anywhere, with the Workplace Survey application. Before we begin, I want to cover a few housekeeping items. At the bottom of your console, there are multiple widgets that you can use. If you have any questions during the webinar, you can click on the Q&A widget at the bottom and submit your question. We will try to answer these during the webinar or after the webinar is over. You can expand your slide area by clicking on the Maximize icon at the top right of the slide area or by dragging the bottom right-hand corner of the slide area. An on-demand version of the webinar will be available one day after the webinar and can be accessed using the same audience link that was sent to you earlier. Today on the line, we have Hannah Graziano, our Applications Engineer. So Hannah, I will turn it over to you. Okay, thank you so much, Leisha. As she mentioned, my name is Hannah Graziano, and I'm a part of our Application Engineer team here at FM Systems. I'm going to start off our webinar today by running through a few slides for everyone to introduce the Workplace Survey application, and then we'll dive into a demonstration of the application. Just a few things to note before we get started. For those of you who aren't or who don't know too much about FM Systems, we've been in business of producing world-class solutions for lifecycle building operations, in particular integrated workplace management suites for more than 30 years now. We're located in Raleigh, North Carolina, and we have a client portfolio that spans across the globe. Now, the workplace survey application is a part of the larger FM, FM Interact integrated workplace management suite. We provide tools that allow you to do lifecycle management of your facilities for every facility workflow. Really, our key modules within the entire platform are space and asset management. That's where you're able to manage all of the space, the furniture, and the equipment within your organization that can be transacted upon. That includes things like move management, project management, lease administration, being able to do things like full maintenance management, corrective and preventative tasks, just about everything you can imagine within the entire organization. There's a lot of different capabilities within the Workplace Survey application that allow us to implement the software to match your specific processes. So we're really excited to show you some of the new capabilities that we've got in our app, allowing organizations to get a true handle on their utilization opposed to occupancy. So moving on. Um, some questions that you may have asked yourself in the past regarding utilization. You know, what is your true utilization throughout the day? Or maybe, what's your utilization over time? Are your ergonomic programs effective? And the current state of your conference rooms or training rooms? Companies rely on this utilization data to answer these questions and in turn make impactful and costly decisions. However, the reports we currently have illuminate trends in occupancy as opposed to utilization. This is the challenge we're faced with. We have these reports, great, but they are discrepancies in the data, especially with today's evolving workplace and workers rapidly trending to a mobile work style. So how will FM Systems help to solve this problem? with our Workplace Survey application. So the FM Systems Workplace Survey application is a mobile tool that allows you to easily create surveys in the FM Interact suite and gather accurate facility data on your mobile device. If we're thinking about occupancy versus utilization, it's crucial to collect accurate data to present to our managers and company stakeholders especially when the questions that are asked regarding the availability of space in a building. You can see the image on the left-hand side of the screen shows that our space is currently at max occupancy. However, on the right-hand side of the screen, we notice that the workplace is completely vacant and not being utilized at all. So when we talk about utilization, we're referring to the percent of workstations and production space that is currently occupied by a user. Without this utilization data, determining whether to expand or downsize facilities can be a very costly mistake. So when you ask yourself how do you collect data over time, you'll see here that throughout the course of a day, certain spaces are occupied and then become unoccupied. 
in order to measure utilization, you need real-time data to understand not only how many spaces are occupied, but also what people are doing in these spaces. These questions can illuminate utilization trends and answer the questions we asked a little bit earlier. But it requires having a survey tool. Here we're seeing an actual depiction of you know, your utilization throughout the course of a day. So the Workplace Survey app allows you to have a better understanding of the utilization of space as it ebbs and flows, whether that be morning versus afternoon, like we're seeing here, or maybe Monday versus Friday, or even your utilization in the spring as opposed to the summer or fall. With that being said, we may need to ask the same question multiple times. And in order to capture that data we need, we can use the Workplace Survey app. What we're seeing on this screen is the way that the Workplace Survey app allows you to use two different, plat or two different features. You can begin within the FM Interact interface to create the survey and configure the different questions that you would like to include. Then the survey would be completed in the field. And from there, once the survey is complete, the data will be uploaded to FM Interact. That way, we can evaluate the data and then report on it. So without further ado, we'll jump into a demonstration of the Workplace Survey app. Just a moment as I um, get it set up for us. Okay, so hopefully everybody is now seeing my iPad screen. And what we're looking at is the login page for the Workplace Survey app. It's important to note that the login info doesn't correlate directly with FM Interact, as many companies will hire contractors or surveyors to walk the facilities and capture data. We've made it easy to create and manage user accounts that stand apart from FM Interact. There's no additional cost as you add these surveyor users. So now I'm going to go ahead and log in as myself. And on the home screen, I see the surveys that are assigned to me, as well as my in-progress surveys. I'm only required to have a network connection to log in and download surveys, and then, again, upload completed surveys once I'm finished. Once a survey is downloaded, you will not need a network connection to work on the survey. Today, we'll be focusing on the second floor utilization within my building. To begin, I'll choose Start Round 1. And from there, I am directly taken into the survey. On the top part of the screen, we see details like the survey name, what survey item we're currently on, and all the way on the right-hand side, the survey item name. I can now enter the results as I'm walking the floor and proceed to my next survey item. Below the header, we have two different panels. On the left-hand side of the screen, we see the viewer. This displays uploaded files like a sample floor plan or a line diagram. We're also able to toggle between the different documents we have. So maybe I need to look at the survey instructions and helpful hints as opposed to the floor plan. Or maybe I need to see the floor plan as I'm completing this survey. I need to make sure I'm walking the appropriate route and surveying the correct spaces. These files can be PDFs, JPEGs, PNG, or SVG format. On the right-hand side of the screen, we're seeing the survey form with questions, you'll notice that um, 
The text can be static or dynamic HTML text, and this allows you to auto-populate data for F from FM Interact. For example, you'll see at the top part, current space name, and then a room number, and then the type of workstation. So the text in blue would be dynamically, dynamically changing as I move through the different survey items. So I'll go ahead and fill in um, this survey item and move ahead to my next item. Another thing to note is that we have the flexibility to show either both panels or full screen for only one panel. It's very quick and easy to go back and forth between the panels, allowing you to have more screen real estate when needed. You'll notice below that we have four options when we're working with a workstation, computer work, phone conversation, collaboration, or other. Additionally, if I choose other, I'm able to then upload an image of what is going on in the workstation. So if I choose a image that I've previously taken, I can automatically upload it, and maybe my comment here would be not working, eating lunch. <laughs> Once I finish here, I can click Next. And we're now looking at an uh, item that is containing a conference room. So you'll notice on the bottom half of the screen, we have many more options as far as which activity is occurring. This is important because these fields are only relevant for conference areas. You know, you want to be having meetings or presentations within a workstation. And I did want to touch on the different types of fields. We're not only seeing, um, you know, one, one field. We're seeing radio buttons up top. And then when it comes to how many people occupy the space, we're seeing a different group of buttons, as well as checkboxes down below. Some additional fields that we could use are text boxes, drop-down menus, date, or time. A lot of flexibility around the types of fields and the ways that you can configure them to meet your workflow. So as I go through and make my selection, I'll move along to the next item. And if you notice on the top part of the screen, my information is changing. You know, the survey item that I'm currently on has gone from one to five, and the room number in the top right-hand corner is associated with that. Now that I'm looking at an office space, you'll notice an additional field up top asking me if the door is open or closed. So again, just touching on the configurability of the types of fields you can have and the different options that you're able to have. So once I'm done for the day, or done with this survey for the time being, I'm able to navigate back home. And I'm seeing, you know, the data in the current survey item will not be saved until you tap Next. If you return home, the unsaved data will not be saved. Either way, I'm going to go back to my home page, and I'm now seeing that I have three surveys in progress. You'll notice the last survey, I'm 16% complete, and that's what we were just working on. I have the ability to resume the round and finish collecting data, or I can go ahead and skip to round two if I, for some reason, have to or need to. Up above, with the fourth fourth floor conference room, you'll notice that I'm finished with round one and ready to start round two. Additionally, you'll notice that 25 records have already been uploaded. When the records are uploaded, they're pushed back to FM Interact, and then from there, you're able to digest the data and report on that data. The data that you collect in your surveys is not pushed to FM Interact until you do so. so when we're back on this screen, in order to upload data, you will need a wireless connection, whereas with the surveys, you did not need that connection. So by simply choosing to upload, 
within a matter of less than a second, those records are uploaded. I can now start round two, or I can also notice that I have time restrictions on the left-hand side of the screen. So it's now after 2 p.m., so I'm able to start this um, second round if necessary. Once I choose Done, the survey will disappear from my screen, and all of that information is now kept in FM Interact. And that about covers it for the actual application itself. I guess we can open it up to any questions. Um, okay. So we have one question here. If you don't have a mobile app, can you still create the same surveys within FM Interact? Yes. Okay. You would be able to create the surveys within FM Interact, but in order to actually complete the surveys, you would need a mobile device. Hopefully that answer suffices, and if not, please feel free to reach out. Um, we'd be happy to help you after the webinar. Any other questions at this time? And if you do have any questions that come up within the next few minutes, there is a Q&A widget on the right-hand side of your screen. And we'll stick around on the line for a few more minutes to see if any more questions do come up. Okay. Here we go. Can the survey be shared over multiple iPads? Example, round one on iPad A and round two on iPad B. So the surveys would come in both as round one, but you would be able to track that they're coming in off of different devices. And you would also know what time those answers came in. Okay. Do you have an example of an occupancy report? That's not something that we have today. Um, we'd be happy to help you get and show you an occup occupancy report um, off air and be in touch maybe after the webinar occurs. Again, um, can you share a report example? That's not something that we have today on the mobile interface, but once the webinar is complete, we can definitely be in touch and. Um, show you some different reports that we have within the FM Interact interface. This is an observation study not done with sensors. Correct. Yes, yeah, so this is a study where you're actually walking the floor and gathering data based on who is in the workstation, what they're doing. Um, Different from sensors, you know, sensors would be able to gather that data if they're sitting there. Not as much what they're actually doing and how the space is being utilized. Okay. Any additional questions? All right, well, we're going to go ahead and stick on the line for another few minutes just in case questions do come through. Otherwise, we will um, get to those questions we weren't able to answer right now within the next few hours. And please feel free to watch the recording if necessary and send it along to your colleagues.
Thanks, everybody, for joining, and I hope you found this to be beneficial. Okay, here's another question. If a facility was starting from scratch and will be merging CAD files to this system, how can this take place? That's a great question, um, and it may involve more of a discussion to figure out exactly what you're wanting to accomplish. Um, essentially, the CAD file you saw within the application is a PDF file of that CAD drawing. Um, it's not a dynamic CAD plan, so it may be a little bit different than how you're thinking about it within FM Interact. Okay. Does the tool automatically keep track of when the information was collected? Yes, most definitely. That is definitely an out-of-the-box feature with the app. You know the users, you know the devices, you know the time. Um, really, a lot of granular detail is tracked. Yeah, and we'll stick around for another eight minutes, so feel free to continue sending questions. We're happy to answer them. Okay, how do you get an actual report from this information? So the survey data that is collected and then uploaded back to FM Interact um, is loaded back in a data view. So we could essentially create reports off of that data, and every organization is going to vary in the type of data they're collecting and how they'd like to report on it. So those reports would be configured throughout the implementation process. But similar to other FM Interact reports, um, we can really configure them to meet the needs of what you're trying to track. Are you the contact person for additional questions? Sure, you can definitely feel free to send questions. Um, the best place to send them will probably be ae at fmsystems.com. That way I'm able to answer them with my team and we can ask other, you know, ask around internally if we're not able to answer your specific questions. But ae at fmsystems.com is the best place to send those questions. Is it necessary to install hardware for getting information about space? Uh, no, no hardware is necessary to gather the information. You would only have to get or download the app from either the Google Play Store or the Apple Store, as you would any other app on your smart devices.
can the questions be modified or are the questions out of the box option only? The survey form is completely configurable. So those questions that you saw were just examples um, and ideas that we thought may be beneficial, but you're able to use the survey module for many more things beyond utilization, whether that be um, security evaluations, ergonomic evaluations, um, the options are really endless because you have full control over the questions that you're asking within the form. Okay, well, thank you everybody for joining today. Um, really hope you enjoyed the presentation. And again, please feel free to send additional questions um, to either AE at FM Systems, or I'm sure a lot of you have Leisha Jackson's contact information. She'd be happy to triage those questions. Thanks again for joining, and have a great afternoon.